Ah, this is Brooklyn. St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics God. Preventing you from becoming a biscuit-headed grower. I want to thank you guys, first of all, for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I sincerely appreciate it. So what we're going to be talking about today is a little bit about vertical farming and a little bit about media bed versus a raft system and which one works best in a vertical scenario. So let's jump right into it right now, get to the question. Um, and this question comes from a viewer named Roel John Rebosa. And it says, hello, aquaponics God. What's going on, Roel? I'm out here chilling. It's another one of these hot Florida sunny days, but we gotta get it in. So what's going on? Greetings to you. It says, I'm building a vertical aquaponics system what method should I use? A media based or a raft system? Thanks. All right, so let's jump into this real quick. So when you say that you're putting together a vertical system, I'm assuming that you're referring to stacking one of these systems on top of the other, opposed to growing vertically with, when, you're, when we're talking about growing fruits and, and putting them on strings and letting them grow up vertically. So that's, under the, that's what the assumption that I'm under when I'm gonna approach this question. So some of you guys out there who have questions, make sure you're a little bit more specific on what it is exactly that you want answered so I can give you a more specific answer when we get into um, dealing with the question. So just keep that in mind. So I'm assuming that you're referring to stacking one upon, one upon the other. Now, when we're dealing with a vertical system, ideally, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna um, look for something that is intended for vertical growing. So I know you have these options here, media-based or RAV system, but those aren't ideal for growing vertically. Those are more designed for just growing, you know, on a, a one level surface and growing from there. When you start stacking them, uh, stacking them one upon the other, although you can do it, it comes with more issues than if you use something that's designed for vertical growing. So for instance, if we take this, we stack another one on top of each other, what happens is when you wanna get to those plants that's underneath the top row, you're gonna to have to be bending and reaching in there, doing all this reaching in there, and that's putting extra stress on your back, unnecessary, right? So when you're dealing with a media bed, we know that those are, those are really, really heavy. So one, especially once they have gravel in there, those can be really, really heavy. So if you put one of those together and you start stacking them upon one another, then you're, you, should, you shouldn't have any type of inclination to move it anytime soon because it's gonna be a pain to do that. Raft, those are also, can be also heavy, um, especially when they're filled with water, but those are less, um, are, are easier to move because you can drain the water out easily and then just move it if you have to. But just know that when you put something up like a media bed or a raft, that those are going to be somewhat at least semi-permanent. So you want to keep that in mind. Also, along with the labor that comes with it, it's going to be more difficult when you, if you're doing um, a media bed um, opposed to a raft system. So if you had to choose between those two, if that was some type of crazy circumstance where you only have those two options to go with, then I would suggest going with the raft system because it is going to be like it like i said it's less heavy and it's going to be less labor opposed to dealing with you know having a, every time you plant a, a plant when you when you harvest it you got to take up all the gravel and all the uh, media off the roots that takes up time but both of those you stack them on one on top of the other you're going to have to be in there bending coming like spider-man bending all in there and that's something that we don't you know we don't really want to do you're also probably gonna have to use a ladder depending on how many tiers you stack it up. You're gonna have to get a, la a ladder to get to those top plants. And, and on the long run, that's gonna take a toll. So like I said, this has been done before. Other people have tried it, but you won't see hardly anyone doing serious production really dealing with a raft or media bed stacked vertically on uh, top of each other like that. It just doesn't work out in the long run, especially when there's other options. So ideally what you want to have, like I said, is something that's designed specifically for vertical growing. And we do have that now. We have people that have invented and come up with things that are specifically geared 
towards vertical growing. You got um, Dr. Nate Story with um, Bright Agrotech. That's the company. He has um, vertical towers called Zip Grow Towers. He, I think, I believe he did his dissertation, his PhD dissertation, on um, on those Zip Grow Towers. So he put a lot of research in there in or order to make a tower that's specifically designed for vertical growing, right? And those are going to be uh, more effective in you know smaller spaces. It's going to help you out a lot. A lot of a, a less bending that you're going to have to do. You can just pull those right off the racks and go and do whatever you have to do with those. So that's something you want to keep in mind. Also, you can look at, you know, uh, something that would be easier than a raft or a media bed. If you want to stack on top of each other, you can look at doing a vertical, si I mean, an uh, NFT system. You can in use NFT channels, stack those on top of each other. That's easy access right there, right? They're going to be lightweight, easy access. You still are going to have to do some bending. If you put together like an A-frame, those lower tiered um, channels, you're still going to have to bend over and, and, and do some uh, bending for those. But, um, you know, in that circumstance, there's pretty much no way out of it because those are pretty much stationary. So you're going to have to bend over to grab those, opposed to like a vertical tower where you can just come right to it, grab it, and just pull it out. You can turn it up, uh, turn it, you know, uh, horizontally and do whatever you have to do with your plants. You see, so these are the things that you have to keep in mind. Labor is a big thing. Labor is something you don't want to uh, you don't want to overlook. That's a huge thing. Some of the stuff can get tedious, especially bending. That can get very tedious. So you want to keep that in mind. So that's what that would be my suggestion. If you have to do the raft or the media bed, go at the raft. There's going to be a lot less uh, stress and labor in the long run. But ideally, you wouldn't want to do any of those if you have the option to do something that's designed specifically for. Ideally, you, you want to go with the vertical tower. You can, if you, if you have uh, good instructions on someone who can make one, if you don't have the money for it, then go ahead and make one. If you have the money for it, spend the money. Don't play games with it. You don't have time for that. You don't have time to be sitting here trying to cut holes in, in PVC pipe. You don't have time for that, right? Go ahead and buy, invest, and, um, and, and save your time. So with that being said, Hopefully that has helped you out and hopefully that you've got something from this, something to think about um, if you want to jump into, um, you know, something like this. You're putting together uh, some type of um, system. It's just something for you to think about. All right. So if any of you guys uh, out there have questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to um, uh, put it in the list and put it in the queue and help everyone else out because I know a lot of people have inquiries about a lot of these things and I give you guys the best um my best feedback that I can give you guys, right? So um, if you guys also have, uh, have other issues or you need other help, then you can check out the schoolofaquaponics.com. Got free courses there, paid courses there that'll help you out. Get in the aquaponics paradise, learn the fundamentals of aquaponics, the core fundamentals. That's what the whole thing is based off of. And that's gonna give you a, a, a good foundation to go out and start doing your aquaponics and really have a head start. Right, get right to it. That's aquaponics paradise. You can jump right into that. So with that being said, um, hopefully this, this has helped you guys out and I'll see you guys on the next one. So this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics reminding you to stop walking and get you a car. <laughs>